hello newman family god bless you all and thank you all for coming back to receive the word of the lord if you're new and you're here for the first time god bless you you're welcome i am apostle glenn and god loves you so much you all this word i'm releasing to you right now is so important and i believe something very very similar but i need you all to take this so seriously now more than ever before you see when the lord says the enemy goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he wants to devour the time that the enemy does this the most is when there is about to be manifestation of the blessing the reason why i'm coming back to release this word again is because it is so important you all the, the lord is moving in many of our lives in the body of christ and what satan is doing right now i wish you all knew what the enemy was actually doing right now because i know the Lord has revealed these things to me. The Lord wants you to remain extra sensitive in the spirit. Don't just live as men and women of the flesh. Like be very, very sensitive in the spirit. And that just means you just being prayerful and um, just sp sp spending time in the word of God. Amen. So the Lord literally has gifts and favors to release upon you because this is the year of, of the lord's favor 2022 is the year of the lord's favor and the lord just wants you to be sensitive because the enemy is going to use anything like ev like anything to bring you into a cycle of repeated sin and backwardness and i said in the live stream that we had the last time that the lord will not bless sin the Lord will not bless sin and that you should pay attention to your dreams. The Lord is making you remember your dreams because he wants you to see the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. So now that, that, that you know, Father God wants to bless you and the enemy is, you know, coming around trying to take you back to being in places you shouldn't be in or be with people you shouldn't be with or do things that you shouldn't be doing, you need to be ready to fight. You You need to, you know, be in the spirit so that you're able to descend these things hallelujah it can be something just as you know innocent as just going to a place where you normally buy stuff from meanwhile the people that you know that you know you used to hang out with they always go there to buy stuff and they always hang around there and they have a bad or negative influence on in in your life or you know you um you know had some come some kind of addiction in your life where you know you were a fornicator or you were addicted to cigarettes and where you normally go like there's people or there's girls there or there's you know things in that place that you know are you know likely to like draw you away from the lord and then you go back there to hang around people like that or you know to buy stuff from there like just be extra sensitive like i don't know how to explain this but god has literally dispatched angels to release healing and blessings and breakthrough and and uh turn around and changes and satan is doing everything to block you he's doing everything to block you even the spirit of anger we need to remain in the spirit of joy hallelujah that's the only time that we can receive from the lord when we are filled with that joy of salvation when we are filled with the fullness of god when we are fellowshipping with the holy spirit when we are when we are you know at peace when we are quiet in our spirit Hallelujah. When we stay away from sin, when we are blameless and we live a holy life, God can freely release what he wants to release unto you. Don't go about gossiping. Just be, stay quiet. Hallelujah. Don't allow sin. Don't allow temptation. Plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. There are gifts about to be released to you, child of God. Declare that over yourself. I refuse to be distracted in this hour. I will not miss what the Father wants to give to me. I refuse to be distracted in this hour. I shall not miss what Abba wants to release to me in Jesus' mighty name. And that's your portion, child of God. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. That, Father God, that you will bless this ones and bless this ones in their hearts, Heavenly Father. And grant unto every listener, everyone watching, grant them grace, Lord, to keep serving you and to hold on to you. Every plan of Satan to bring them into backwardness to make them go into places or do things that they shouldn't be we come against such plans by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth i bless you all with the blessings of the lord and i decree and declare god's, god's grace shall overflow in your life from now hence from now henceforth you shall not miss the blessings of god you shall be a partaker you shall be in receival of the promises of god for your life in jesus mighty name be blessed family lots of love